changing planes, fine. Being a little bit funky is fine. Finding your own swings, fine. So there's no right or wrong in golf. There's all those quadrillion combinations and they're all correct. What's wrong to one person's right to the other. There's absolutely no right or wrong. Build your own swing. Understand it. That's the key. Understanding what components you've used to make that swing. Then from there, you're good to go. Don't be like everyone else. Don't do what you think you're supposed to do. Just go and make your own golf swing. Right, we're on. Today we're going to talk about the golfing machine. Homer Kelly's golf machine. I have the 7th edition, most popular edition. It's a work in progress, this for me and for many, many golfers. This is what Bryson DeChambeau adheres to. This is his bible. You can see the work that goes into this. They took Homer Kelly almost 30 years to come up with this. It was a real work in progress. The man worked in his garage for years to understand this and understand how the golf swing works and this is what he came up with. The book tells you that there's 24 basic components to the golf swing and 144 variations. I've written them all on two sheets of A4 to try and understand them a little bit better. That wasn't easy. Yet within this book, within this manual, this manuscript of golf, Homer Kelly says there's 446 quadrillion different motions within the golf swing. 446 quadrillion motions and he says every one of them is right. Every one of them is a correct motion for the individual. So coming over the top for that specific player may well be a correct motion. It is a motion. So 446 quadrillion of them. Holy sh**. Today though we're going to talk about two. On page 162, section 108, we're going to be talking about the fix address engineering. So we're going to talk about what Bryson DeChambeau does before he takes the club back and also what Matt Wolfe does before he takes the club back. Then we're going to talk about the stroke, we're going to talk about the plane angle variation, we're going to talk about what Bryson DeChambeau does in the backswing and what Matt Wolfe does in the backswing and the downswing. All engineered by Homer Kelly in the golfing machine. We'll start with Bryson DeChambeau. So we're talking about the fix. So it says here, 10, 8, 0. The three impact fix positions are classified according to combinations of impact and address positions for the hands and body. That is one or the other or both are the impact fix location. So what does that mean? Well, that means that impact. Before we take the golf club back, we put ourselves into an impact position. So that can be either address. So we take our address position, get into impact fix. So impact fix being either the body in impact position, or the hands being impact position, or both body and hands being impact position. Then return back to your address, then take your golf swing. I'm sure you can see what Matt Wolf does. So there's a standard, a special, and a half and half. So 10-8-B, special, Matt Wolf. 10-8-C, half and half, which is Bryson DeChambeau. Let's start off with Matt Wolf. So Matt Wolf's impact fix from the golf machine is 10-8-B, special. The identifying features of this position are body at impact fix so the body is at an impact fix position so he puts his body into impact the hands remain in address position location and conditions so this is matt wolf this is unbelievable matt wolf takes address position he moves body only not hands so he takes address position moves body back hits golf ball that is his trigger, that's him getting into a position he wants to be in at impact. It looks funky, but he's trying to train the body. This is me, this is where I need to be at impact. I'm going to do a dress rehearsal, which is a dressed engineering special 10-8-B. Dress position. Body. Swing. Hit ball. Shall I try one? Let's try Matt Wolf. Here we go. And he goes up that way. So body only impact fix. It's not a bad effort. <laughs> so that was pretty good. So impact fix. It's a special impact fix. It's body only. Puts his body into impact position. Why you wouldn't put your hands in? Don't know. But for him, it's body only. By looking at videos of him, and maybe he does put his hands in. But I'm pretty sure it's body only. Gets his body into impact fix position, then that's him ready, he knows, okay, that's where I need to return to through impact. Dress rehearsal, job done. Fantastic. DeChambeau, 
Bryson, he is a half and half, 10-8-C, so half and half. The identifying features of this position are body in standard address position, so body's in address position, nice and square towards the golf ball. Hands at impact, fixed location and condition. Hands at fixed location and condition, so the hands are in the fix. Hands only, impact position, sorry, address position, so half and half, address position nice and square. Hands at impact, if we come into impact, the handle of the club lifts up. Hold on, greenkeeper's making some noise. So Bryson, address position nice and square towards the golf ball. An impact position, we'd see the handle of the club rising slightly. So Bryson starts off in that position. There's address, good, nice and square. Hands are up, because his golf clubs are built that way, and that's where he wants to return to. So Bryson's a half and half, 10 8 C, where body is standard address position, and hands are at impact position. There, Bryson. There we go, impact fix for Bryson DeChambeau. Think I could swing it like Matt Wolf? Eureka's better. We'll move on to the next tee, Greenkeeper's making a lot of noise. We'll move on to another tee and we'll talk about swing plane angles of both golfers. Right, the Greenkeeper's away, so we're back on. Plane angle variations again, Matt Wolf, Bryson DeChambeau. Matt Wolf has, so a plane angle variation, let me just read this out to you. So customised planes, the plane angle variation are classified according to the shifts of the plane angle of the stroke. A shift may be made during the backstroke, during the downstroke, or at the top of the stroke. Interesting. So it's a shift in plane angle when we swing. So let's start off with Matt Wolf. Okay, so Matt Wolf is what's called a reverse loop. Let me explain this to you. If I stand in an address position, like so, if I draw a couple of lines on here, so there's a basic, three basic plane lines. So one is the elbow. Next one is the shoulder, square shoulder plane. And the final one is the turn shoulder plane. Okay, so those three lines, there's one, two, three lines, that's three different planes. Now the plane is going to shift. It might shift from elbow plane the way back, the hands on the elbow plane, up to the squared shoulder plane, elbow plane, squared shoulder plane, back down. So it can change from these three positions, but that's the three planes we work on. That's the three basic planes that Homer Kelly talks about. There are other planes within that, but that's the three basic planes. So the customized plane, which Matt Wolf has, here's what's called a reverse loop. So Matt Wolf has the reverse loop plane. So you can see it goes up on one plane, the hands move down, and then it slings its way around and comes back down on the elbow plane. If I read that out to you, similar to the reverse shift, except the shift is made from the squared shoulder plane angle, but also is done in a looping motion of the club head. Handled with skill, this shift can be very effective. Handled with skill, this shift can be very effective. That's fantastic. So Matt Wolf takes the club up onto the squared shoulder plane, and then he loops it down onto the elbow plane. So squared shoulder plane, it's up onto the squared shoulder plane and then loops it down onto the elbow plane and through. So the hands go up onto the square shoulder plane, loop down in the reverse onto the elbow plane with a reverse loop. Up, down. So you stack up on the shoulder plane, squared shoulder plane, the hands then move down onto the elbow plane and then from there he's turning through and hitting ball. That is Matt Wolf's golf swing from the golfing machine. That is a plane angle variation he chooses to use, which is the reverse loop 10-7G. Bryson, on the other hand, interesting stuff this, by the way. Bryson is 10-7A, plane angle variation, zero. Zero variation. He's said this in, in many interviews, that he has zero shift in his golf swings. One plane, straight up, straight down. The classification is included so that it can be indicated in a player's preparation stroke pattern that one basic plane is to be used throughout the stroke without a variation. That's Bryson, no variation whatsoever. Then it says that is no shift, zero shift. So he takes any variation, movement of swing plane, out of the game altogether. And of course his address position dictates that. So Bryson, plane angle variation, 10-7-A, zero. Address position, half and half fix. Body square, hands up at impact, and then there is zero shift. So whichever plane he chooses, which is probably turn shoulder plane, comes straight back down on that plane. So dress position, 
draw the three plane lines in there. Turn shoulder plane, hands are up to turn shoulder plane. Straight back down. A lot of pivot, a lot of body turn. I use a zero shift plane. Let's try that. Oh, Bryson. Now that's hard. I find that hard. Bryson's firm left wrist, weak grip, reduces any caulking or any excess caulking or leverage that's not required because Bryson's zero shift. For me, too hard. Matt Wills, I quite enjoyed that. Let's try that again. So I like Matt's action more than Bryson's. So Matt's there. Impact fix is special. Body, boom. Up onto squared shoulder plane, down onto elbow plane, hits golf ball. So all these components, Bryson DeChambeau, sorry, Homer Kelly's components, the 24 components, the 144 variations that I drew in that bit of paper. You can pick and choose from these. These guys have done that. Bryson's choose that, 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 and that is going to play this shot. Matt Wilson done that, and that, most efficient for him. Put those two together, we're on. A special impact fix. Onto reverse loop. Matt Wolf. wasn't the most pure. My normal swing, Eureka, is, just for the record, double shift. So I take the club back on the turn shoulder plane, and then down at the elbow plane. Turn shoulder plane, down to elbow. That's another story. Guys, there we go, Homer Kelly's Golfing Machine. If you can get a copy of it, you should read it. It's the hardest book in the world to read. I think you start in chapter eight, then you move to two, and then you move to one, then you move to seven. It's, it's crazy. But once you get into the findings, just little bits of it can really make a big difference to your golf game. As I say, it is very, very hard to follow and to swallow. You might pick it up and go, no chance, put it away for two years, bring it back out again, and get a little bit of understanding about it. I think it's fantastic. Basically, at the end of the day, if you read this, you'll understand that golf is a hinge action of the angular motion on an inclined plane. Right, if you subscribe to the channel, thank you. If you've not subscribed to the channel, oh, come on, eh? Let's do this. I'm not sure if that's of any help to you. Just a different video altogether, just a little bit more high tech. Um, there is guys in the world who are interested in this sort of stuff. There's guys who just think that's an absolute load of nonsense. But the Matt Wolf and Bryson DeChambeau, we can all relate to them. We watch them on the telly, so it's interesting to see where the swing components that they have have come from. And it's this little book.